Okay, I'm Paul Caron, and I'm a resident of the Earth Haven uh, neighborhood, which is called the Hut Hamlet. And the reason why it's called the Hut Hamlet, it was originally called the Neo Tribal Village. And uh, that's there's a story behind all that that I'm not going to tell right now. But basically, when we bought the Earth Haven land, we had an agreement not to all go off and build our own houses. First, build some community infrastructure and do a site plan and be responsible for our land. So this started taking a lot longer than we thought it was going to take and people got antsy and they were like, but we have to be on the land. How will we ever develop anything if we can't be on the land? So we made a compromise with ourselves and we picked an area uh, and decided to build a kitchen and bathhouse for everyone to share and then build huts around that kitchen and bathhouse. So it's like a big house with grass and trees in between all the rooms, basically. And then as things went, of course, and we thought, oh, we'll build these huts and we'll live in them until the community center is built and then we'll move on to our, all on the, to our personal sites. And some people actually did that. And then the huts will be available for rental. That's what we thought. But most of the huts got bought up by other people who just wanted the hut style of life, including me. And so uh, what it is, is it's kind of a prototype of a, a unique solution to the affordable housing crisis, is what the way that I put it. Like this house that we're, that I'm sitting on the front porch of is a is a 16 foot yurt. It was a canvas yurt, and the canvas sat around for so long that it rotted off, and the frame was left. And I covered the frame with uh, insulation sheeting, which was uh, industrial waste, and put some permanent windows and such in it. And I've been living here since 2003. And it basically, I think maybe I spent $5,000 counting my own time to build this house. So that's affordable housing, eh? Okay, cut. <laughs>